Okay, so I thought I'd post another update, seeing as I uh, got a lot of followers on YouTube from this project. So I thought I'd show you the final project product that was uh, created um, about a year ago now. Uh, we've now done about three or four events with it. Um, just you know, family weddings, etc. Um, it's just about to go to its next one. So this is the final photo booth um, that we created using a Raspberry Pi and a standard off-the-shelf printer. Um, and a few other bits and pieces that we got. So we're going to see it's uh, it's all dolled up now. It's uh, we're going for the kind of box brownie look on it. Um, we've got our kind of flashlight. that's just a continuous light on it at the moment. Um, we got our our printer's coming out of the side here. So our, our Canon selfie printer I'm just sitting there. Um, so yeah, it's, it it's quite an obtrusive thing. Um, got our button bar here. It just sits out, it's uh, attached by a single cable, it's lit up, illuminated, so um, allows people to take their own photos. Various doors around the back here and stuff, the cables are a bit messy because I'm preparing for this next wedding that it's going to. But you can see the selfie printer hiding in there, We're up, up to the back of the camera we can see some nice messy wiring and Raspberry Pi etc in there. Um, got a few updates to the software as well, so uh, we're a bit more pretty looking. Um, software wise, we've got uh, now monitoring the amount of prints we get. Um, there's an issue that there's some of the weddings where the, the paper ran out and it stopped printing, so we've put some code in there now that uh, they'll restart the printout when uh, when we refilled the printer. So I'll just show it off again. So we, we've got our eliminate button here, so if we press our eliminate button, we start to get our count down and we take a photo. So we take four photos. Um, once the four photos are print taken, we have a wee bit of processing time and then we print it out. As soon as the processing time is done, um, we can actually start taking more photos. The the time that's taken is just the USB bus and the Raspberry Pi seems a bit slow. Um, sending it to the selfie printer. So we're going to try our, our Raspberry Pi B Plus um, soon. Um, once the price goes down a wee bit more, I think it will come down a bit more with the Raspberry Pi 2 out. I'm going to try a B plus with more memory and see if uh, see if we can uh, speed it up a wee bit with the with the B plus. A bit more memory. This is an original uh, prototype Raspberry Pi that I had from the original uh, batch that they first sent out. So it's the probably the lowest of the low. I've done a few modifications to the board on it, actually taking out the poly fuses on the board to give it a wee bit more USB power. But you can see now we've we've actually sent that file off to the printer and we're quite happy. I got a wee counter down the bottom here that's showing that we've uh see if we can get it to focus there on the screen. Probably not very well. There we go. So we've taken two out of the sixteen photos. The selfie holds sixteen photos in its uh in its photo tray. Um so we're uh but yeah, so we, we keep count as soon as the paper starts to go low, we uh, raise a warning on the screen. Um, it'll also, once it runs out of paper, it'll also trigger every time that the next print is done, it'll try and reset the printer to, to force the, the printouts back out again. So basically as soon as the paper has changed, it, it's stored up all the prints and it should, uh, should carry on printing for where it was um, for once the, the, the print's actually done. So I'll open up the back door here and just show the this selfie printer display here. So we received the data already and we're going. So that was roughly about 30 seconds we're going for the print at the moment. Um, from, the, from the final photo taken to out to the printer. We've got, we've got about 30 seconds of wait there. I'd like it to be down to about 10. Um, <laughs> ideally they, a lot of these photo booth companies that do this kind of thing for a living they've got Windows PCs and DSLRs and uh, they can print pretty much instantly. Um, it's just the the main problem is the the Raspberry Pi USB bus is just a bit a bit too slow to send the data down it um, to the printer. So as with these selfie printers, it's a, it's a four stage process. So it prints all the the three colours and then puts a clear plastic layer on top. Uh, let's see if we get that. I'll print it out now. Reject it down here for the for the people to pick up. So it's it's really 
self-sufficient self-sufficient project um, so once we we've got the photo out we get we get six by four so usually what we do is just put a set of uh, set of scissors next to it and a, and a guest book and uh, guests can take one strip away we've got a wee a line there uh, showing people where it cuts so the guests can take one strip away and, and leave another strip for for whoever's uh, event is to have a nice wee uh, interesting uh, kind of guest book so there you go there's the the new uh, the new look of it so box brownie boot look take it around the other side of it there so it's kind of custom made flash gun switches and cables come out one side um, and we've just got the standard Raspberry Pi camera here with a, a 58mm uh, DSLR filter attached onto it. Um, take the filter off it, it's just a clear UV filter. 